Regarding the Dan Woodson allegations, there are questions about the legitimacy of what's been said about him. Basically, it's two guys who've said stuff and that's it. They haven't produced any evidence online. They haven't given it to the public. It's just words. One of them did go to the Met Police regarding evidence he found, well, he says he found, behind Dan Woodson's washing machine while he was um, a cat sitting for him in New Zealand and the police decided no action. And then there's the other guy with the serious sexual assault allegations. Again, no proof, just word of mouth. And now a, a fringe media outlet called the Byline Times have come out and said they have the evidence and they've given it to the police. And they're claiming all sorts. Again, they haven't produced this to the public. They said they've taken it to the police to await their decision. And the Byline Times is the same media outlet that published an article with a heading saying, The BBC presenter scandal. Every editor and reporter who helped promote the Sun story should feel shame. And yet here they are producing <laughs> a story about Dan Wooten in the same vein. And it's completely different to the Hugh Edwards situation. And I'd just like to point out here that the same people shedding tears for Hugh Edwards and calling for calm and understanding, kinder, gentler politics are the same ones masturbating themselves into an unconscious oblivion at the thoughts of Dan Wooten getting cancelled. So it's just huge hypocrisy, isn't it? Now, of course, if any of these people produced evidence regarding Dan Wooten, I'd be making the same videos on him as I have on Hugh Edwards. And regarding Hugh Edwards, it turns out he was already the subject of an investigation by the BBC before the newspaper revelations appeared. And there were jokes made about him around 20 years ago in the BBC TV series The Thick of It. So that tells me people knew, they had an inkling, and yet nothing was said and nothing was done. Does that remind you of anyone else? Now BBC top brass were at Parliament today and they were at a hearing to discuss how they investigated the whole situation. Now, the BBC did suspend Hugh Edwards. Hugh Edwards is in a mental health hospital. He's not going to come out of the hospital in the foreseeable future, but his wife did say that when he does, he'll address the issue. I mean, is the guy in such a bad condition that he can't say anything through his wife? After all, he told his wife and others that he was angry at the BBC investigation, and he was angry with the Sun newspaper, so... Why can't he give a statement to his wife now? All he has to do is come out and say, I didn't do it, it's not true. At least that would give the guy some credibility, but he hasn't. And the BBC are still in contact with the original complainant as well. So, if there's nothing to talk about here, why did they suspend Hugh Edwards? They haven't announced they've unsuspended him, and why are they still in contact with that guy's mother? There are so many unanswered questions regarding Hugh Edwards than there are about Dan Woodson. And I understand Dan Wooten isn't a very popular figure in the showbiz world. He was a member of the uh, Sun newspaper team. I think it was the celebrity section. Was it called Bizarre? Uh, News of the World, he was there as well. And he did print uh, uncomfortable exclusives about celebrities. And of course, being a member of the mainstream media, he must have told a few porkies as well. And that's the link between them two here, between Hugh Edwards and Dan Wooten. They both spewed fibs on behalf of their respected, um, well, I say that loosely, employers. So are the Dan Wooten allegations deflection from the Hugh Edwards allegations? Who knows? But the Hugh Edwards situation is just too big uh, for anything to deflect from it. But I think in the case of Dan Wooten, it is fair to suggest that we wait until we find out what the police say regarding the so-called evidence the Byline Times have given them. And there we go. That's my video. That's my opinion. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, have a great evening and Roger Trout.